this is an introduction to categories. Categories in Joomla are used to organize data, mainly articles. I'm going to use this tutorial to create a category of events and we're going to have two subcategories called camps and concerts. But before I really jump into creating a new category, I want to show you why we create categories. I'm going to hop over to one of our other sites. This is one of our starter sites and you can see it's it has several different um, navigational items across the top and each of these contains several different items of content. And if I open this site on the back end and take a look at the categories, you can see they do kind of mirror that horizontal navigation. Now they don't always have to and as you get into larger sites you can see a very very complex structure of categories. And if I had to really equate a category to a physical item, I like to think of them as a file folder. If I had a physical filing cabinet and had hanging folders, the hanging folder would be my category. And all the papers inside it would be each article. If I look over here at the articles contained in this, you can actually see every article in here is assigned to a category. This becomes important later on when we start building our menu structures and even showing where our modules go. What we're doing with categories are we are organizing like articles together. And later on this helps us as we build out this website to make a really nice sound stable structure that makes logical sense to grow on as we develop the site. So I'm going to close out of this example right here and we're going to start building categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to content and drop down this menu. I'm going to go to categories and you'll see all the existing categories. The uncategorized category is a default on every site. From there you can add any type of category you want. On this one we're going to start with events and I want it published. I want it public and everything else looks good. I'm going to save and close and I'm going to add another. I'm going to call this one camps whoops, <laughs> camps, and I'm actually going to make that a subcategory. So I'm going to make it a subcategory of events, and I'm going to save and close, and you'll notice that the subcategories are actually designated by a little bit of a indent just kind of a visual reminder of kind of the parent-child relationship between the two. And I'm going to click on New and I'm going to do one for Concerts. And again I'm going to make this a subcategory of Events. And we're going to save and close that. Okay. Great, so now we have our building blocks to go in and add some articles. That'll be my next tutorial, so stay tuned and thank you for listening.